Most people in the room know where Midway is, but just in case there are a few who don't, it's almost at the uh, top of the chain of the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, and it shows the picture there shows what the atoll looks like. It's one of the, if not the largest, larger land masses in the uh, northwestern Hawaiian Islands. What to talk about today is about an eco refinery on Midway, which could make the island a showcase for cutting edge technology that transforms its trash into oil, diesel oil substitutes. Midway currently burns diesel oil to power its electricity generator and to incinerate its trash. Additional trash comes from marine debris washing ashore and also the Golden Crown beard plant, which grows with nearly unmanageable speed. In the near future, up to 100 tourists at a time will be generating even more trash. All trash sources present opportunities for an eco-refinery to demonstrate its potential. The Department of Defense contracted with Purdue University to build a portable refinery prototype to convert trash to energy. The innovative system produces electricity in four different fuels. The biocatalytic system subsystem turns food into food waste into ethanol. The thermochemical subsystem turns plastic, paper, and scrap wood into a low BTU fuel gas while producing electricity. It does not accept human waste, glass, or metal. The system output is carbon dioxide and ash that can be used as fertilizer. And the carbon dioxide output is considered, considered carbon neutral, as most feedstock is renewable and plastics would be landfill. How does it work? The generator comes equipped with a 70 gallon fuel tank that initially functions as a 60 kilowatt generator or scales back fuel flow when waste derived fuels are introduced. The generator is about 30% efficient. A three way flex fuel computer control varies according to the type of fuel to maintain the required 1800 RPM for power generation. Cardboard, plastics, biomass, and wood are pelletized, gasified, and fed into the thermochemical subsystem where it heats the plant's diesel oil. It also produces a low BTU fuel gas, which is fed back to further supplant diesel oil. 
Food waste is fed into the biocatalytic subsystem, processes and converts carbohydrates and starches to ethanol. The ethanol can be used to supplement the diesel oil requirements. About 110 gallons of diesel oil are saved each day, and heat is recovered to produce hot water for kitchen, laundry, and domestic purposes. What are the advantages? Purdue University engineers indicate that a smaller prototype can be manufactured for Midway at a cost of about $500,000, and that Midway's unique waste products, cardboard, fuel waste, food waste, dried golden crown beard plants, ironwood tree debris, and plastic marine debris can be processed. The advantages of Midway's serving as a test site include the eco-technology aligns well with Midway's National Monument status. The abundance of scientists on site help ensure that the refinery will be closely monitor monitored and that data would be published. The sustainable tourist projected to visit Mid Midway is likely to view the refinery as an attraction. The refinery is clean burning, emitting only ash and carbon dioxide. The island's aesthetics will improve with the incentive to convert marine debris to fuel. The ash may be used as fertilizer. And the refinery's heat is recovered to supply hot water for the kitchen, the laundry, and showers. Perhaps most importantly, diesel fuel use could be significantly curtailed. Laboratory projections show 110 gallons of diesel being saved every day based on 2,500 pounds of wet and dry trash. I'd like to look at a couple of the non-domestic uh, trash sources. The Golden Crown Beard plant grows at a nearly uncontrollable rate and must be continually harvested. It smothers the nesting sites of island's famed goody birds, the Laysan albatross. It can be easily pulled up by the roots, but it grows back as quickly as it's removed. Its fuel value may provide economic incentives to accelerate its removal. Sun-dried to 40% moisture content, the plant may supply 7,000 BTU per pound. Every 19 pounds might supplant a gallon of diesel oil. Estimates vary on the volume of marine debris that washes onto Midway shores every year. Whether it is 1.5 tons or 5 tons yearly, the tragedy is the same. Of the estimated 500 birds making midway their nesting spot, about 200,000 die from filling their stomachs with cigarette lighters and bottle caps, leaving no room for the nutrients they need. The refinery would put an economic value on the plastic waste, opening the way for bounty payments to people who would go out and retrieve the plastic. What are the larger implications? The eco-refinery is consistent with the Monuments Draft Management Plan. I quote, the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands serve as one of the few modern sentinels for monitoring short-term and long-term responses to local, regional, and global environmental and anthropogenic stressors. Careful monitoring by scientists may help pinpoint modifications necessary to render the refinery ready for private sector development. This mass production would presumably lower the cost considerably from the $500,000 estimate. And in keeping with the theme of the big picture, such refineries would serve many Pacific islands which can no longer bury their trash due to rising sea levels and can ill afford diesel fuel to generate electricity. Siding, remote, siding refineries in the remote areas of the main Hawaiian islands, such as Molokai, Nanai, Hana, and Iihau, would enable the conversion of expensive trash into an electricity generating solution. I want to thank you for being patient with the substitute presentation. Um, as you can see, Howard welcomes all research collaborators. There are hard copies available here, and uh, if you do want to follow up with questions, you can either drop them off here or email. Thank you.
Papa, na na to ohu e ho ohu i te ala ohi a ohu kani ohi a we i wa no ho dua i ohu ohu mu mu i kawa i le no ho ma na ohu pahi o i kawa paliku kawa hawa paliku i kawa pa ma kani ku ma ku a hakali ta ohu le wa i e kalawa e haka ano ole ke ya ohu no ke no ke hakala la ke ya manu i ka ohu i ka ohi a ha ma me ho o ha ma u ta le o ka le hu a pa ne a pa ne mai pa hai ke ya ma mu e